We're at the Bryce Cannon entrance. Yep. They are still closed. They got it blocked all off. Can't even go up and take a picture of the sign. But we've been waiting patiently. For a while. <laughs> Today is Cinco de Mayo, May 5th, 2020. Drink a margarita. <laughs> and tomorrow, May 6th, this is supposed to open. So we're hoping that we can get up in there tomorrow. We just wanted to come show you how they had it barricaded off. They, uh, they've got all the back roads that we used to be able to go down are all blocked off. Yep. And we're going to go down the road a little bit farther here. That's back towards Bryce City. And then we're going to show you uh, the uh, campgrounds and, and what's open down there. So yeah. we're going to take a little time because tomorrow, good Lord willing, we're going to be here cracking the one. We're going to be showing you some hoodoos. <laughs> Stay tuned. All right, just a little farther down from the entrance, the main entrance of Bryce is the gateway trailhead and you got a nice little parking lot up here you can park uh, they got the road closed going down there now there is no overnight camping here but they got plenty of bike trails and stuff to go down through in here i've heard this is pretty popular so you if you uh thinking about doing this it goes all the way back to highway 12 so it's a lot of forced roads and stuff back in there um, there is, um, this is 63. This comes up and this goes into the park. So everything back in here is bikeable. But, uh, man, there's a lot to do here. And, uh, just one of the things. So if you bring your bikes, a lot of good trails. We saw some people here the other day were out there enjoying their bikes. So we're going to go downtown, show you what's in the city of Bryce Canyon, which is called Bryce Canyon City. One thing that you will keep seeing here in Bryce Canyon City, this is the uh, last campground before you go into to Bryce Canyon, that Ruby's Inn and uh, campground, Ruby, whoever Ruby is, owns a lot of stuff because we get farther down, you can have Ruby's restaurant, Ruby's grocery, and a lot of Ruby stuff. But this campground here is open uh, as of today. So I think it was open last week, in it fact. Was. So if you're looking for a place to camp at Bryce City and you want to pay, this is one option right here. Very close. So we have some other options for you also. There's some little teepees you can stay in. The kids would probably love that. But this is it. Ruby's Inn Campground. So this is the area where you come, you can park here and you can take the shuttle. Uh, they will take you up to the park. So if you don't want to drive through uh, to the park, you can park your rig here. There's plenty of parking. This is the Sinclair Station uh, right here at Bryce Canyon City. And as you can see right here, this is where you can dump and get, add water for $10. So you dump over in that drain right there and then you fill with water. But as you can see, there goes a fifth wheel out there. Looks like he had some tire work done. They do tire, fixes tires and a whole bunch of different stuff in there. So it's a nice little, uh, not only gas station, but it's also a nice place to uh, um, get your tires worked on or if you have some minor issues that they can fix mechanically. But there's plenty of room. You can come around the backside to dump or you could come in through here and dump on that side and then jump around the other side to get water but uh, fuel is reasonably priced I'll show you some pictures of it on the other side and then we'll go up here to the general store well Kim is gonna go into the general store and check it out see if there's a few things that we may need see how expensive it is of course you're out here in the middle of nowhere you're pretty, it's pretty well, expensive you're pretty well at their mercy but she's gonna go in and see Otherwise, we have to go all the way back up to Panwich, which you've seen in our previous videos. But, uh, and they weren't too bad. That was reasonably priced up there. Yeah. But this, of course, it's a tourist trap. So, Kim, go see what you can crackers. do. A box of crackers. A box of crackers is $5.49. <laughs> How much you like crackers? I know, right? But anyway. Show them inside the laundromat. No, there's somebody in there. But right up here, there's a laundromat. Uh, Kim and Shirley and, and Deb went in there and did some laundry. Very clean. Very clean. 
plenty of room. Three people did a couple loads each. There's your Sinclair station across the way. There's, they got a car wash over there. They got uh, an RV wash with a washer RV. They got a lube center over there. And uh, I think I saw diesel at 249 if I remember right. So they're not too bad on price on fuel. But uh, all these other little shops over here, they're not even open yet. They're supposed to be open shortly. But they got ATV uh, rentals over here you can rent. There's plenty of hotels and motels and little inns and, that you can uh, stay at here. So, if, And it's real close to the canyon. I mean, we're just right outside of Bryce Canyon. You got a post office in there. Get your firewood. There's plenty of parking. You can park your fifth wheel rig right out here. Plenty of easy access in and out. On the other side, there's some more restaurants on the other side. A couple of big hotels up there on that side, back behind all the little strip center there. So all in all, it's a nice little place. Hopefully we can spend the next couple days here in uh, Bryce Canyon because we really want to move farther north. We want to go to Moab. We're waiting for them to open up arches. Uh, we're going to do a separate little video on some of the things that we think that the National Park Service should do. But, uh, man, this is all right. And there's nobody here. So hopefully tomorrow nothing will be crowded. And we won't have any issues with any of the uh, tourists or park rangers or anybody with authority that want to go up there and start boss us around. We've been in quarantine longer than they have, so. But anyway, we'll see what happens when Kim comes back out. We may be going hungry, but we got plenty of food. We just, you know, sometimes if, if you do milk or eggs or something like that, you're just going to have to pay the price for it or burn fuel and get it somewhere else. It's all part of it. Well, that was a no-go. <laughs> Guess how much they wanted for one avocado? One. Oh. Ready? Five ninety-nine. What about one. for what about for a dozen eggs? Oh, you can get four eggs for two seventy-nine. They have them in the four packs. Well, what about anything else? Did milk? They had no creamer. I don't even look at milk because we don't ever buy it. Okay. They had a pack of tortilla shells that um, was in there, but they expired in two days, and they were three dollars. Two ninety nine. So you better you better bring in your stuff unless you want to spend a fortune. <laughs> well, that's how it goes in these little places. That's right. I well, mean, I understand it. I mean, I get it. But I mean, five ninety nine for one avocado when you get two for a dollar. <laughs> oh. <well. laughs> All right, just want to take a few minutes to point out there is a rest area here on Highway 12 at mile marker 11, which is probably about, Bryce City is that way probably, maybe four miles. But the clean bathrooms, and if you're camping up in the fire, uh, the, the uh, Forest Service Park areas, they have dumpsters down here, they've got trash cans, the bathrooms are real clean. Got a nice little picnic area, got a water fountain here. So if you want to stop here and rest while you going up the scenic byway 12, you can. But uh, we stopped here many a times. Plus it's good good place to put trash out. Got a nice big bin. And it's got a heck of a view too. So just one more area that we wanted to show you. What's wrong with this camera? I'm going to have to get a different mount. Just one more place that uh, you know when you're coming in here, especially with your big rig. You know you can get in and out here easily and use the facilities before you go uh, east or west. Mile marker 11, Highway 12, going to Bryce or going back to 89.